What's happening YTPC? It's been quite a while. It's George 416 Piper. I'd like to say I'm back, but uh, this is more of a interruption in my hiatus. Uh, I'll get back into that in a little bit. Um, enjoying my second cup of coffee. Cheers. So, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update and make an announcement. Um, what I've been doing for the past seven months, that was the last time I made a video was sometime in uh, June or July. I think it's been seven months. Um, basically just doing work, uh, life stuff, hanging out with the family. In September, my parents came for a four month visit. So I spent time with them. It's good watch, uh, watching them hang out with their grandkids. They spent Christmas and New Year's here. They left uh, January 3rd, so they're gone now, but uh, I missed them already, but it was fun having them here, but obviously with them here, taking them around town and uh, visiting more people and doing stuff, uh, it makes making videos more difficult. It also makes having a pipe more difficult. Uh, lately, I haven't been having many pipes. I've been going like three or four weeks in between bowls because I just really haven't had the time or I haven't had uh, the ideal weather. I'm not ever at Young where I could just be outside in polar bear weather and uh, go for a lunt. If I'm not going to enjoy the, the tobacco, I'm just not going to even bother trying. So yes, smoking a pipe's been scarce, uh, much like my videos. Like I said, I haven't been on for seven months. Um, while my parents were here, I did a kitchen rental that took a little bit longer than I thought. It was almost like two months by the time everything was said and done. So things here at home were a little bit snug with uh, my entire kitchen or the contents of my kitchen out in my dining room. So we kind of had to hang out in the downstairs apartment with my parents, uh, it's not bad. I mean, we normally would have meals with them anyways, but you know, it just makes things a little bit tighter around the house. And I'm not a big fan of clutter and messiness, but uh, that's something I had to endure for a couple of months. Cheers. Um, so what else? Um, a friend of mine at work told me that um, if you're into like pipe smoking and sports and whatever other hobbies you should go check out Instagram and I wasn't on any other social medium other than YouTube but uh, well I joined Instagram and went down that rabbit hole uh, in September and I've been probably more way more active in on Instagram than I have been here in the YTPC basically because it's it's so much easier I find it's just you post a couple of pictures you comment um, you make a few comments on your pictures, you like other people's pictures, you you know, you comment on them and you can stay in touch with them much easier. You can direct message people. I just find it less time consuming and less of a commitment than actually being on YouTube. So I've been much more active there. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, if you're on Instagram, I can follow you back. I'd love to follow you back. I'll leave my Instagram somewhere around here so you can follow me. What else? Um, basically, I've just been busy with work and life and haven't had much time uh, to do anything, like I said, even to have a, a pipe. Uh, I know this video is going to be a little bit long, so uh, I'll try to put uh, timestamps down in the, the six below just so you guys could skip to the parts that you want to watch and avoid the parts that you don't. Um, basically, uh, I wanted to apologize for all the, uh, milestones that I missed. Congratulations to you all. I know Jason just made 900 subs. Congratulations. That's, uh, N.W. Piper and Pat, uh, Paladin Piper. He just, uh, made a thousand subs. And I know there's been a whole bunch of new 
uh, presenters out there, a lot of them reaching their 100 sub marks already. Congratulations to you all. We've also had a few tragic losses in the YTBC. My condolences and my heart goes out to you. Um, uh, some of you have already uh, made contact with you on Instagram. I'm already, as you know, following some of you guys on Instagram. So again, if you want to direct message me or follow me on Instagram, uh, you can go to the link that I just provided or the account I just provided. Uh, so what, what else have I been up to? I've been, I bought quite a few pipes while I was gone and some tobacco. Um, I figure the best way to show you what I bought is to turn the camera around and just show you. So I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So a while back, all briared up John, he bought a sunglass case, I believe from Amazon. That's where I bought this one to hold your pipes. And as you can see, I bought one as well. I also bought, um, this is going to be difficult, several new pipes, which I could show you. Uh, for instance, I bought this Molina Sandblasted Apple. Great bang for your buck. I'll just leave it out for now. I also bought this Molina Rhodesian. Great smokers. If you've never owned a Molina, I highly recommend it. Um, what else did I buy that's new? I bought this Savinelli 626 Tortuga. I love the stem. Beautiful. What else? I just recently picked up this estate pipe from Pipes, Pens, Pipes, Pens and More, Mike. It was reasonably priced. It's in great shape. I really like it. What else? I bought this Medco. My pipes are all shined up because I just spent a few hours yesterday shining them up. I bought this Medco from RNA Treasures. Uh, it is a Medco standard. I guess it's a paneled billiard. It had some coating on the inside, but I decided I'd sand it off because it was too shiny. I'm not used to seeing shiny coatings like that, so I figured I'd get rid of it. But other than that, it's in fairly decent shape. For the price I paid, it was excellent. What else did I get recently? I got this. I got a Savinelli Alligator Green 673 shape. One of my favorite pipe shapes, the Bulldog or the Rhodesian. Sometimes they call this a Bulldog, sometimes they call it a Rhodesian. It, it depends on what site you're on, but I think it's a Bulldog. It's got kind of a triangular shank. I really like this one. I've been eyeing this one for a year or two and I finally pulled the trigger. Of course I bought all of these on sale aside from the Molinas. Best time to shop is Black Friday. So what else do I have for you? Uh, give me a minute and I'll show you. All right now for the main reason why I'm doing this video is because uh, I've been thinking about it for a few months now and uh, I just wasn't sure when was the right time or how I should go about doing it, but uh, I'm thinking, I'm not thinking, I've thought about it. I'm getting out of uh, presenting in the YTBC. I just, I don't have the amount of time or time management uh, you need to make the kind of commitment to making videos. Uh, as you guys know, I haven't really been active watching your videos. Just sorry about that. I just haven't had really the time. And like I said, making videos 
hasn't been something that I've really wanted to do. I haven't had a desire in a while. I thought maybe if I waited a while, maybe I'd feel more into it. I'd want to come back and do it, but it just, it just hasn't happened. Um, maybe when my life slows down a bit, I don't know when that's going to be. My kids are still pretty young, so I'll come back in a few years or something and start making videos again. But I had already bought some pipes in the past because I wanted to do a giveaway if I reached a certain amount of uh, subs. I really don't care about that right now, to be honest. Um, I figured since I'm not going to be making any more videos other than my subsequent GA, uh, um, what's the word I'm using for it? my GA video where I somebody I announced the winner. Uh, that will probably be my last uh, YouTube video for a long time. Now, the GA, the getting out of presenting giveaway. I have some stuff that I bought previously that I was going to give away, and then I've subsequently bought more stuff. Uh, I figured if I'm going to make this a final giveaway, I might as well make it a little bit more interesting. So what do you have to do to be in this giveaway? You don't have to be a subscriber to me. Um, I want an email. I don't want a VR. I obviously haven't had much time to watch any of your videos or do VRs for you guys. So I'm not going to put that burden on you. And please, please, no VRs. Uh, you can leave a comment if you want, but that's not what I really want. What I really want is an email. I want you to direct all your emails to this one right over here, uh, georgeq at rogers.com. And what I basically want is really very simple is I want you to give me your top three blends, something that you would recommend I try. There's a chance that I probably have tried it already, but uh, basically I'm doing this in case there's something out there that I haven't thought of or I haven't heard of. Um, or I haven't considered trying, um, I'll basically compile a list for myself that I could, tobaccos I might purchase in the future. Um, if you're into aromatics, basically give me your top three. If you're into Englishes, your top three of those. Whatever you're into, whatever you smoke the most that you have, uh, I guess the best wealth of knowledge that you, you're confident that your top three would be something that I, that you enjoy, obviously and something that I might enjoy. Just give me the, your top three in your email. Obviously, when you send me your email, I'm not gonna know who a lot of you are. So if you could tell me what your um, moniker is, like if you're uh, Janice Cornell and Deal Piper, or whatever your name is, just say, hi, I'm so-and-so. This is who I normally go by. And then just give me your top three. Also, as a little fun thing, if you can somehow give me some information on how I can still get my wife to come around to our little hobby, that would be appreciated, but not necessary. Uh, she's slowly accepted that this is not going to go away. She even, I think, even had a stood outside with me while I had a couple of bulls in the summertime, which uh, was quite shocking, actually, but she still hates it. Uh, doesn't like it at all. So if there's any tips that you guys have out there for me, I would gr gladly appreciate it. Now, I'm going to do this giveaway on the 28th of February. I have some notes, obviously. So the 28th of February, it's open to everyone. Um, you just have to be obviously of legal smoking age in your country. And... I have to be able to get it out to you somehow. So if you receive mail normally, then I'll be able to get it to you. If you don't, then you're going to have to provide some address uh, if you're the winner. So the whole email thing does two things. A, it makes it simple for everybody. You don't have to make a video. Uh, and it makes it easier for me that I don't have to like spend too much time uh, watching your, not that I don't like watching your videos. It's just again, I don't have the time that I would require or that I would want to make the commitment to watch your videos and also to produce my own. So that's why we're here. Um, now I could basically show you 
what you guys will be getting. All right, everything that I'm gonna be giving away is in this box over here. Uh, okay, so let's see. The first, it's gonna be three winners, by the way. Um, like I said, so it's probably gonna be my last giveaway. So you might as well go out with a bit of a bang. So three winners. It's gonna be one set of pipe cleaners each. Also, there is going to be three pipe stands. So that's what they look like. So it's basically, uh, I think it's like this, that it stays. And then your pipe would just sit like that type of thing. So three each of those. What else? Each winner is gonna get a tin of Presbyterian. Now, I don't know if you guys like Presbyterian. I personally haven't tried it myself. And yes, I did save myself a tin to try later. So three tins of this, one for each winner. And then I have a bunch of other tobaccos that you guys could choose from. Two more uh, that you could choose from. Obviously, I'm gonna do a random number generator. So whoever I pick first, he gets first dibs on the tobacco and the pipes. Yes, there's pipes too. So, so whoever get, I pick second gets second dibs on what's left. And then obviously the third gets to choose from what's left from that. So I'm going to have to flip this camera around again, just so I could show you what's left. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. The box has been emptied and a little bit more organized now, I think. Cheers. I forgot to mention that I will also be giving away some Savinelli multi-tools to two of the winners because one of the pipes comes with its own. But first let me show you the tobacco that you guys could choose from. First is Cornell and Deal Epiphany. Never tried it, can't tell you if it's good or not. The second is, oh, I'll, I'll try to compile a list of everything that's available uh, down below as well, just so you guys have an easier time with it. Second one that you could choose from is a tin of Maltese Falcon. Some Escudo, Navy Deluxe. I know a lot of people like this. And yes, I have one of those jarred up already. Squadron Leader. Now I have this sealed with uh, plumber's Teflon tape because the one that I opened for myself, I didn't hear that and it was kind of a little bit on the dry side. So I figured I'd tape up the sister can and hopefully that would preserve its integrity. But the way it's kind of indented, I wanna say that this one is actually better sealed than the one I opened. So Samuel Gawith Squadron Leader is another one that can be picked. Uh, GLP Stonehenge. I know quite a few people like this one. I ha uh, can't remember if I tried this one or not. I don't think so. Not ringing any bells, but Stonehenge Flake is another one. One of my personal favorites, if you love Latakia, Cornell and Deal Star of the East Flake. I think it's Cornell and Deal. Yeah, Cornell and Deal Star of the East Flake. Amazing stuff. I love this stuff. And yes, I have a few saved as well for myself. One I haven't tried, GLP's Piccadilly. 
up for grabs. Uh, another one is GLP's Charring Cross. Haven't tried it. Couldn't tell you if it's good. Well, all the ones that I bought, I think can be good. I read up the description on them and to me, they sounded good. The only way to know is to actually try it. So the last one that you guys could choose from is GLP's Navigator. So this is kind of what this looks like so far. I don't know if you can see that. It's quite a bit. Now, obviously they're not all gonna be given away. Not all these tobaccos, sorry about my hand. Not all these tobaccos are gonna be given away. But, the winner will get basically pipe cleaners, a pipe stand, uh, multi-tool, and three tins. One of those tins is gonna be Presbyterian for sure. Then you choose two of the other remaining ones. Now, you guys are probably wondering what pipes is this guy giving away? The first set of pipes that I'm giving away is this Missouri Meerschaum Let Freedom Ring set. Um, pretty cool set. I've added some balsa filters in here. See if I could open this for you. You probably might have to, oh, Lee, oh, there you go. You might have to mud a couple of these pipes. I don't know if you can see that, probably not, but they're pretty cool looking, but you're gonna have to probably play around with the inside of it, if you care. If you don't care, then, well, that's up to you. You can kind of see Behind the balsa filters is the American flag. Pretty cool. There's the other pipe. I believe that's a legend. Not bad. I've always said that everybody should have some corn cobs in their rotation. Pretty forgiving pipes. They do, they can ghost, but they don't typically ghost in my limited experience. So that's one set of or I should say that's one of the pipes that I'm giving away. The other pipe that I will be giving away is this one. And it's kind of like a starter kit. I get, all these pipes are new, unsmoked. Uh, I basically bought them for the intention of giving them away. Don't tell my wife, she'll probably wonder why I'm buying stuff to give to people, but it's what we do. So it comes with its own little balsa filters. This is uh, the French pipe. I believe it's a Chacom Seconds or Chacom Lower um, brand pipe. Uh, it comes with, I'm trying to do this gracefully, but I've got no grace. So it does has it, its own multi-tool as you can see so that's why if you pick this pipe then you obviously won't get the, one of the Savinelli multi-tools so as far as the pipe itself if you know what pipes that like you can kind of guess its shape and that's it it's a little bulldog and it is little this is what something somebody would call probably a pocket pipe it's tiny, it'd probably be half hour, 45 minutes for me, but if, if you're a fast smoker, this would probably be 20 to 30 minutes tops. But it's kind of beautiful, I like it. That's one pipe, or the second pipe, I should say. And the last pipe that I'll be giving away is a nine millimeter. Oh, um, the, the corn cobs and obviously the, the, the French pipe are six mil pipes. 
you've already seen it. This is the, the final pipe I'm giving away. It's a Savinelli discounted series three, um, 626. Now, this one has a ton of imperfections and fills. It's kind of like an ugly duckling, but I like it this way. I think it adds a whole bunch of character. I got this off the pipe nook, Eddie Gray's website. Again, brand new, unsmoked. This is, like I said, a nine millimeter pipe. So there you have it. That is basically what I'm giving away. Three pipes, three tins of tobacco. Well, technically it's four pipes, but one of you guys is gonna get two corn cobs. So three pipes, three tins of tobacco, uh, three multi-tools, uh, three stands, and three pipe cleaners. Or sets of pipe cleaners I think I got everything covered so that's it um, again sorry for not being as active as I'd like to be in um, the YTPC uh, I know there's been some shenanigans lately in the YTPC c'est la vie. Uh, that's not the reason why I'm not gonna present anymore or at least not for the anytime near future it's just, honestly, I don't have the time and I just don't have the heart or desire to do it right now. I just, if you want to find me, you can find me on Instagram mostly. I'll try to watch as much of your videos as I can. Um, but again, it's just, it's all about time management. I either don't have the time or I'm not managing it well, one or the other. C'est la vie. This is life. This is my life. Uh, I've just learned to deal with it. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. Again, you have until the 28th of February to email me at, not at the one in my about page, please send this to georgeqrogers.com. Your responses, no videos, please, no videos. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you and your families are all safe and healthy. Again, congratulations to everybody who's uh, gone through a milestone and I, my heart goes out to everybody who's had tragedy hit them recently with everything that's going on. It's, it just makes it so much worse, um, I find. So, this is already super, super long. Hope everybody's well. And remember, when you smoke a pipe, you smile at life. Cheers and take care, everybody.